In today's video, I will be showing you how to protect an entire sheet except for some certain cells here in Google Sheets. So if you're working on a spreadsheet and you want to protect the entire spreadsheet, in this example, I have this data of the hiring process of some of these candidates right here. And what I want to do is to protect the entire sheet except the range where we have our notes right here. So I don't want anybody else touching this data except for the notes column right here where they can add some additional insights on these candidates. So first, how do we protect a sheet or our entire spreadsheet? We can do that by going to our data right here and selecting protect sheets and ranges. If I click on that, it will open this panel on the right side. So we are going to be adding a sheet or a range. I'm going to click on that. And instead of a range, I'm going to select sheet. There we have it. So we have the option of selecting just one sheet because we only have one sheet in this spreadsheet or in this file. And then we can set our permissions right here where we can show a warning when editing this range. I really don't want to do that. I don't want them to have a warning before they edit it. I don't want them to edit this at all, except again for the notes column. So for the second option, we can restrict who can edit this range. Right now, the option is only you. But if you want somebody else other than you to be able to edit this, then you can go to custom. But that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is to protect the entire sheet and just leave the notes column open for others to edit. So once you've done editing your permissions, just click on done and the changes have been saved. But of course, we haven't accepted this range yet. If another person were to open this, let's go ahead and open another tab, pretend we're another person. So I am now logged in in a different account. And if I try and click on this, I won't be able to edit it. There you go. Even if I double click on it, I won't be able to edit it. So right now, this entire sheet is protected. If we go back to our own account, here we have it. So again, what we want to do is to make sure that other people can still edit this range right here, which is under our notes. So let's go ahead and change that. Just go back to that protected sheet, click on it. And here just below our sheet name, we have the option to click on accept certain cells. If I click on this, it will now ask us which range you want to exempt. So we're going to select that range by going to this box right here, which will tell us to select data range. Or we can also just type it right here, but I'm going to go to this one and just go ahead and select it. There we have it. So we have selected J2 to J51. If that's the range that you want to be exempted, then you can just click on OK, click on Done, and there you have it. This time, if we go back to the other account, so now if we try and click on this, we are now able to edit and add any additional information. So for this candidate, let's say she's a team player. There you have it. And maybe for this one, wasn't confident. And there you have it. So we are now able to edit this range, which is still within a protected sheet. So the author or the owner of this spreadsheet has only allowed us to be able to edit this part of the spreadsheet within this protected sheet. And there you have it. That's how you can accept some ranges or some certain cells within a protected sheet here in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and I will see you in the next one.